Thank you. Week two, days one and two, uh, introdu introduction to healing. Uh, what we want to do this week is try and get a straight line walk as long as possible. Um, we're going to give the dog approximately two feet on the lead latitude. Uh, two feet that way, two feet ahead, two feet behind. As long as they're in that two feet range. This isn't really a tight deal. This is an introduction. This is the first step to healing. So we've come from the long line work uh, down from the last days of distraction, uh, working a five foot uh, latitude with the line. Uh, so this week we're working with a two, two and a half foot technically, but two foot reasonable latitude. Uh, allow that dog, the dog that space. Um, what we want to do is we want to get some good walking in within that latitude, with that parameter of uh, 10, 15 steps with this dog here. Uh, He's got three legs, so we go with ten steps. We don't work him too hard. We kind of take a little, little more uh, granular breaks with him. But we're going to walk ten, ten steps, good ten steps, come to a stop, and you can cue the dog to stop because this is all new to them. 
it is just a little bit of pressure on that leash uh, to, to, to cue them that we're stopping. And when we're stopping, we're, we're going to uh, reach down with, now I'm working on the, on the <laughs> let me explain something here, I guess. Uh, I'm working this dog on uh, typically the, the opposite side which you'd be working. Um, because of his leg, he's, he's missing, he's missing his, his uh, front left leg. So for him to cue me or look up to me or tend to be tempted to me at heel, I thought, I thought that would be best on this side for him, for his, so he has a little more balance as opposed to leaning into that non-existing leg. So that's why we're working on this side with this dog. Uh, everything I do here with this dog is pretty for that. A probably bad example, but it's the third dog I'm working with. So. Okay, again, uh, I'll explain that we're working this dog typically on the opposite side to what you'd normally be working. So, for for the for uh, introduction to the heel, uh, getting our 10 or 15 steps in, 10 to 15 steps, depending on your dog. Your dog's capable of doing it. Let's try and get 15 good walking steps, again, within that two-foot latitude of the leash. Um, to uh, cue the stop, because it's all new to them, uh, I want you to take your, your uh, it'll be, be your left hand, okay? And you're going to basically just give a little bit of pressure on that leash just to, as you're stopping, so you can cue the dog that, hey, we're stopping. Uh, you don't need to jerk it or pull it. You're just going to put some pressure and take a few steps to stop. Uh, make it all gradual and, and, and easy for him. And when you do get to the stop, your, your hand will be in position to, to uh, grab uh, tight up to, the, up, up to the collar or the point of the transition in the collar. Um, and then with, it, with, your, with your, your right hand, you're going to replace that, hold the dog, a little bit of pressure up on the collar with your thumb pointing towards you with a little bit of pressure on his rump. I don't want you to keep pushing him down. I want you to just be, be touching him, a little bit of pressure. Once they commit to that pressure and go into down, I want you to release all pressure on the leash and on the hand. When they're, when they're, when they're in a sit position, the butt is on the ground, give them a good praise, say, good boy. Head scratch, head tussle, little, little scratch behind the shoulders, okay? Don't be a big fuss, but let them know that that was a good job well done. At that point, you're going to say, you're going to continue on with your walk, and you're going to say, dog, heel. Whatever the dog's name is, you're going to replace it with dog. Uh, in this case, it would be say glue, glue heel. Uh, and I want you to lead off with with your with your left leg because that's on the heel side. That's going to be important later on. So always lead off with your with your left leg when you're starting your heel. Simultaneously as you say the word heel, you're going to be in your, in your step moving forward. Okay? Left leg lead on heel all the time. Remember that. That's important. It's going to be important later on and it, it, it'll come to fruitation later. Um, but that's it. Let me just show you a little bit how, how we go. We're going to do a couple. And, uh, there was a previous video I did doing a kind of a full routine. But uh, we'll, we'll try and try and get you to see uh, uh, the steps uh, of, uh, of what goes on here. Okay. Come into a stop. Give, give a little bit of guidance there. Switch legs. Give a little bit of pressure up. A little bit of pressure down. Release. Good boy. Good boy. Then loop heel. Get your 10, 15 steps in and repeat your stop.